So we've gone through the startup framework folder structure and we've seen all the components inside. So let's get going on building a web page using CSS within startup framework. So here on my desktop is a copy of the startup framework. I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to go into the developer folder and I'm just going to open this up in a text editor. So now that we're in our editor, we're going to open up the samples folder. And then down here at the bottom, we can see templates and we can see template CSS and template less. It will open up template CSS. And we see right here, this is a nice template to get going with the startup framework. It has all the assets that we require as far as CSS sheets and JavaScript files. And we also need to put everything inside of this page wrapper. So we'll be putting all of our content into this page. So we'll close up samples and we want to open up UI kit because the first thing we're going to want to do is take a look at the headers because we're going to want to start building out this website and we're going to start by looking at the headers. So we'll click on index.html and this will be a list of all the headers. If we scroll down, we'll take the header two. And now that it's copied, we'll paste it into our template. So now we have our header two on our page. And if we take a look at our styles, we can see right here that we have UI kit styles. And one of them is the UI kit, UI kit header. And within the CSS folder, there's the style.css. And each one of these files represents the CSS styles for all of our code blocks. And if we scroll down here to the bottom, we can see that we have these JavaScript files. And we have this little note that tells us that they're placed at the end of the document so the page loads faster. And actually, if the page doesn't really load faster, it just appears to load faster. And that's because it doesn't have to load these JavaScript files until the end of the page. So it can render out this HTML before it have to render out these JavaScript files. And this is something is known as script blocking. So if you can defer the blocking of your scripts before all the UI has been loaded, then it will give the appearance that the page has loaded faster. So let's check to see how this is looking in a browser. So this is looking pretty good. So let's go and add some content sections. So within the UI kit folder, we'll go into the content section and we'll open up index.html and we'll scroll down and find content three. And we'll copy this and paste it into our template. And now that we have this content section pasted in, let's go grab another one. And we'll open up index2.html and we'll find content 23. So we'll copy content 23 and paste it into our template. And then we'll add one more content section. So we'll go into our index.html for our UI kit content and we'll go to content 12. So just like before, we'll copy this and paste it into our template. And now we'll check out our content in the browser. So on our page, if we scroll down, we can see we have our content, but we have this really big block in the middle. So let's take a look at our markup and see what's going on. So let's start collapsing some of our HTML elements to see what could possibly be wrong. So we'll start by closing page wrapper. And right away, I can see that page wrapper closes to content three. So if I open it back up, I can see that before content three starts, I'm closing out this page wrapper div. So I'll copy this and we'll close out the div before the scripts load. So now back in the page, you can see that we don't have that big gap anymore. And the rest of our content is also showing up. So let's go and add a footer. So we'll go into UI kit footer, open up the index.html and we'll grab the first footer. And then below our content 12, we'll paste it in. And now that we have our footer, we'll check it out in the browser. So just like before, we'll scroll down and we can see that we have our footer at the bottom of the page. And one thing to take note of too, is that the startup framework is completely responsive. So we've resized this to 320 pixels in width, which is the current width of an iPhone. So if we scroll down, we can see this page looks really good when designed for a phone. And if we scroll back up to the top and click on these three bars, we can see we get a push out menu as well. So something to always remember is that the startup framework is written in a completely responsive manner. So we were able to quickly create a website using the startup framework. All we had to do is go to the different UI kit sections and stack HTML blocks on top of each other. And we were using the CSS version. However, another option to use is the less version. So in the next tutorial, we'll go over converting this website from the CSS version to the less version.